episode, I think, 80 of the Downtown Podcast. We are very lucky to have the window at the Ogden hosting us tonight. But don't forget, we are back at the scullery next week, so we will see you there. Now, you're in for a treat this episode because we are actually going to be focusing on uh, health and well-being. So all of our guests should have a theme going on there. So the first fantastic guest I'll be talking to tonight is actually Angel. Angel is part of an amazing initiative called the Jump for Joy Foundation. So why don't you give the audience and those working back home, thank you Pablo, who's jumping for joy, uh, why don't you give those watching and listening um, just a rundown of what that foundation is. Sure. Hi, how are you? My name's Angel. I'm very excited to be here. You guys are very excited. Um, <laughs> So, Jump for Joy Foundation, it's an organization that we started about four years ago now. It brings awareness to childhood obesity. And what we do is we, we make it fun and cool for kids to be healthy, active, and fit. And we do that by exposing them to different uh, facets of fitness. And each of our programs consists of in introducing fitness, nutrition, and positive psychology. This is actually really cool because I feel like letting kids kind of critically think about the way they live and start kind of thinking about taking control of, of the way that they present themselves, the way that they can take care of themselves is super, super important, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, a, I'm a huge testament on it. Growing up, I was, I was, uh, I was very obese and I was bullied. I can't, I, I was grew up in this, uh, in this, uh, this <laughs> down. Anyways, so uh, so yeah, Joe for Joy, I grew up obese and I was bullied and teased and I know the impact that it had on not only the, the you know, the appearance of myself but also more importantly, uh, you know, low self-esteem, all those kind of things. And so something that actually coincidentally, I found dancing in high school and that's what kind of got me out of my shell and got me excited and through that I was able to, to do shows and book different gigs and go on tour and do fun things with dancing. But uh, the idea was, giving you back the mic, the idea was that if we can introduce kids to that type of programming, whether it's football, dance, um, you know, all of our camps, we have different themes, football, dance, soccer, several different themes. And um, if we can introduce them to this program, and the program is called ABHI, A-B-H-I, and what it stands for, Activities Based Hobbies and Interests. If we can introduce these kids to different activities, it'll be a lot of base for their lifelong interests and, and hobbies. And so for me, it was dancing it was something that I continued to, to pursue. I started in hip hop dancing, and you know I, I ventured off into different style of dancing. But uh, but yeah, I mean that's that's the mission. We make it fun and cool for kids to be healthy, active, and fit. Encouraging kids to take on a variety of different things, including their own health and fitness. Teaching them how to be lifelong learners. That sounds like an incredible initiative. So your favorite part of the initiative is actually the dance, right? I mean. That's my. That's what I like to do. That's my passion. But my favorite part is to see the kids excited and learning. Uh, I mean, you know, we've done. We've been around it for about four years, and so the reason, the reason I do this is because we. I enjoy seeing the kids excited about fitness and, and different things because we compete against everything. We compete against uh, video games. We compete against the TV. We compete against the computer. We compete against everything. And so all of our events make it very fun. We have live DJs there. We have different brand ambassadors. We, I bring up the Jabberwockies if it's a dance event. I bring up Ray Rice if it's a football event. And the list goes on in ambassadors that I have there supporting our cause. And so that brings me more joy than just me dancing. Me dancing is what brings me joy, but seeing the kids brings it, brings it full circle. Sure, it was fantastic. And um, one of my favorite things about your organization is, of course, it is local. And in Las Vegas. So if people want to uh, find out more about this initiative, they want to take part, or they want to actually encourage someone they know to take part in the program, how can they get in contact with you guys? Yes, uh, visit our website. Our website is the letter J, the number four, the letter J, F, dot org. We're also on social media. We're very big on social media. If you go on YouTube, you can research the Jump for Joy Foundation. Each of our camps have been documented, so we have videos of every event that we've ever done. So you'll see the nutrition classes that we offer to the families for free. You'll see the kids getting involved with dancing, and et cetera, et cetera. And also social media, uh, J4JF, so at J4JF. Isn't Jump for Joy awesome? <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank